In this 56-year-old female who presented for dizziness, there are soft tissue masses centered within the jugular foramen on both the left and right. The lesions demonstrate iso-intense signal on the pre-contrast CISS image with heterogeneous mild, mildly hyperintense signal on the axial stir image. There are several hypo-intense foci within the lesions, giving them a characteristic pepper appearance. On the non-contrast coronal T1-weighted image, the lesion also demonstrates several hyper-intense foci, giving them a characteristic salt appearance. The lesions demonstrate mild heterogeneous enhancement on the axial post-contrast CISS image. AVID enhancement is documented on the post-contrast axial and coronal T1-weighted images. The lesion on the right enlarges and occludes the jugular foramen with extension towards the petrous carotid canal. The lesion on the left partially effaces the jugular foramen. This is a case of bilateral glomus jugulari paraganglioma. Glomus jugulari paraganglioma are benign tumors arising from neural crest progenitor cells arising in and around the jugular foramen. Lesions greater than 2 centimeters in size usually demonstrate a salt and pepper appearance. The high velocity flow voids within the lesion account for the pepper, while the salt is accounted for by foci of hemorrhage or slow flow within the lesion. The three distinct rests of neural crest cells around the jugular foramen include the jugular bulb, tympanic branch of the glossopharyngeal nerve, and the auricular branch of the vagus nerve. Arterial supply is usually via the ascending pharyngeal artery.